So we're going to continue from where we left. Uh, the last round consists of chains. Uh, this is actually the part of the, the, the last round you attach with uh, each other. Uh, oh, it's a bit hard to, hard to explain, but I'm going to show you how. We're going to uh, make a chain five. Five. We're going to make a single crochet in here. What we what we are doing is we're working in the the spaces we made from the last round. So we're going to make another chain five and go into the next next space and make a single crochet. Uh, well, it's pretty much the same all the way around. Chain five and go in between. So I'm just going to continue. Two, three. At the corners, it's a bit tricky. I forgot to mention that before. You have to make another chain five, and you have to go into the same space again, like this. Sorry, like this. So in the corners, you have to make a chain five and make a single crochet in the same, in the same hole again. When you You've done that, you just continue as normal. Sorry, it's a bit confusing for me too. I don't know if I should look at the camera or look at directly at what I'm crocheting. Sometimes it gets out of focus. I hope it can follow anyway. One, two, three, four, five. down into the corner and now we chain five again and into the same corner again yep continue one two three four five down here one two three four five down here one two three four I'm working the last corner. One, two, three, four, five. That's that, that's the corner I was talking about. Into the same corner again. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So this is the last corner. The other one was the second last. This is the corner we st we began from. Now we're going to end it. I'm just going to chain my last five. Two, three, four, five. And I'm going to make a slip stitch. There you go. And just pull it through. I'm just going to go ahead and pull it through again, snug it, and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna show that one. This is how it looks like when you've done all the way around. Uh, the reason I'm doing a chain five uh, is because it has to be odd number. Uh, when you um, uh, crochet with the other part, you chain two and you make a single crochet into this part, uh, this, um, uh, what do you call this square and you make a chain two again so in total it's five chains so uh, for the spaces not to be big we have to have uh, odd numbers uh, I hope I understand it's quite it's a bit hard for me to explain but work with odd numbers when you chain the last round that's the best way uh, if you think the the chains are too big when you do, crocheting with, with a two millimeter or two and a half millimeter crochet hook and a cotton yarn, you can always uh, make a chain three or a chain seven or whatever you want. Uh, yeah, just uh, see how it works. Uh, I don't really exactly remember the pattern because I, I sold the poncho, so uh, I'm working on a hunch here. 
but uh, I mean, yeah, we, we I think we're on a, 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 the right way. So the next we're going to do is we're going to uh, attach this part, this square, with another. And that we're going to do in the next part. Thanks.